We're now at week six on our project house and the framing crew has made a lot of progress. Most of the frame is up. It's time to put on our exterior sheathing and our roof decking. Now we're using oriented strand board, commonly known as OSB, but we're doing it with a twist because we want to make this house as energy efficient as possible. Let's go downstairs and take a look. Here's an example of oriented strand board. You can actually see the wood pieces in here are actually the strands. They've been compressed together to make a super strong surface. Now we're going to use this for our exterior sheathing, but we're also using it for a roof decking with a modification. It actually has a radiant barrier on it. It's called Tech Shield, and it's going to save us money every month that we live in that home. We brought Julie Cole in to explain a little bit about it, and thanks for joining us, Julie. Thank you. Now tell me at LP how you came up with this. It looks like an aluminum foil that's actually laminated on the decking. That's exactly what it is. It's aluminum foil with a craft paper backer that we laminate to the standard OSB. We also do plywood sheathing. Okay. The aluminum foil acts as a radiant barrier and heat, the sun's heat, radiant heat, radiant energy is absorbed into the roof deck through the shingles and into the wood of your roof deck. On any house? On any home. Okay. Aluminum foil acts as a low emitter of radiant heat. Basically that means that the radiant heat that's being absorbed into your roof deck is not being given off into the attic. So we're not going to superheat our attic in the Absolutely. summertime? Absolutely. Well, you know I'm from Missouri, so I noticed that you brought a tool to prove it to me here. Yep. And uh, this gun, we're going to measure the heat that's radiating off there. And let's see, we're at 129 on our oriented strand board. We'll come over here to our tech shield side, 91 degrees, almost 40 degrees difference, huge it's a difference. difference. Yeah, so that is going to save us a lot of money every month. Absolutely. How about in the winter time? What's it do then? Same type of thing. We've actually done a study with two identical homes, one side by side, one with tech shield, one with standard roof decking on it. And we uh, showed, we proved that there was a lower energy usage every single month during that year. Not just summertime, but all year round. Absolutely. Okay, if we put this on a house, what can we expect to save approximately on our utility bills? Well, our study showed that in temperatures upwards of 90 degrees, on the kilowatt hours used to cool the home during the summer, we saved up to 16.5%. Wow, huge savings. So it's going to pay for itself really quickly. Yes, it will. Well, as a home builder, Julie, why I prefer it over all the other radiant barriers is it's actually laminated to the decking, so it's easy to install. Just put it on like a normal deck. Absolutely. No change in uh, construction practices whatsoever. That's great. Well, thanks a lot, Julie. Okay. Let's go to the outside, take a look at our exterior sheathing. On the outside, we're sheathing the project house with OSB from Willamette Industries. Notice that the stamp says APA. That means that this product has been approved by the APA, the Engineered Wood Association. The APA is a nonprofit industry trade association that sets standards for all engineered wood products. When you see the APA stamp, you know that the product has been manufactured to the highest industry standards for quality performance and reliability. As far as exterior sheathing, reliability is everything. Now OSB is super strong and it's tying everything together. We have our base plate nailed into, we're nailing right up our wall studs, we're going to nail into our top plates, so we make one uniform structure that's super strong. If you don't have the budget for your new home to do the whole house, at least do your corners. A lot of builders like to go cheap and just put a one by four strip of wood across a few studs with a couple nails in it to try to hold them together. You need to go ahead and wrap it with OSB at all of your corners. If you don't, when the winds start hitting your house, your home is going to rack back and forth. A box is a good example. When the wind hits it, your house starts doing this. And what happens is all of your drywall inside of your house starts to crack and the nails start to pop out. Then if you ever get in a really bad storm, say a tornado or a hurricane, your house can go over. So go ahead and spend the money, wrap it with oriented strand board. Mm -hmm. 